Hello and welcome back to Fem Design video lessons. In this video, you will learn how to use composite design module in Fem Design software. So let's start by checking what composite structures or parts we have in our model. Let's get back to structure tab, and from here uh, we can select from bar members, we can select column, and from column we can select default settings. In default settings, if we want composite structures, we just need to click here, section and composite. From here, you can find the uh, composite columns that you have used before and saved. And you can also make new ones from here, where you can find your own composite column section editor or you can modify the existing ones with this tool. What I also have is delta beams, which are also composite structures. So how to model those? You just click beam. And here you have section and here you have delta. By clicking delta button here, you can see that now I have section library for delta beams. Now we can move on or we can move back to composite design tab. In here we can start with composite column design. You can start your design for composite column by setting up the correct buckling length for both directions with buckling length tool here. In this example I have already done that. And the next you can move to calculation parameters. In calculation parameters, you set up the correct starting parameters for your composite columns. <clears throat> Here you can see calculation parameters for general design and for fire design. In general design, you can set up a uh, max distance between calculated sections if you want to consider second order analysis and few settings for your calculation. Here you can also set a uh, flexural buckling according to Eurocode for stiff direction and weak direction. In the fire tab, you can set up the concrete properties like moisture content. You can also set up the reinforcement steel properties to be cold format or hot roulette. And you can set up the correct thermal, thermal active actions here like duration of fire time step and some starting parameters you can also affect the mess density of cross section in that fire design and you can set up the buckling length multipliers here for both directions after you have set the correct buckling length and calculate some parameters you can either choose to design uh, some reinforcement to your columns with with this manual design tool here i have done some reinforcement for one of the columns already and with this tool i can show you what i have done i'm just gonna set this then i'm gonna click the column and this will look the same as the concrete column design where you can set up your re reinforcement bars starting from stirrups and setting after that putting in longitudinal bars. By clicking OK, we actually can calculate this column and check, check it already. But now that we have reinforcement bars in there, we can use the check function here and click the column. And now the cal uh, uh, design calculations are done and I can see that utilization for that column is under 100%. So I'm just gonna click composite column utilization and I'm gonna display that. And with detailed results I can once again take a better look into those design calculations. And here I can first firstly I can see my column, I can see all the reinforcement that it has and 
because it seems that the fire design is uh, has the maximum utilization for this column it will open the fire design documentation here next we can look into delta b here you can set the calculation parameters for your delta beams and here is only one one calculation parameter that you can actually set for delta beams and what you can also do is uh, auto design your delta beam so you can find the uh, correct size for your delta beam and what you can also do is of course do it by hand and when you are pleased with the design, you can always check the delta beam with checking tool. Please understand that this delta beam check-in function, this we don't provide a better view in this, and this is only for familiar uh, design of delta beam. But this was all for this video. I hope you enjoyed and see you in the next video.